Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to a new year of Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? If you were with me earlier this week, then you know that we drew a rather challenging version of Spider-Man from the new movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. I thought we'd lighten things up today with a different version of Spider-Man. Kind of a mashup of Spider-Man with a minion. I guess you could say we're drawing a spider man <coughs> Sorry. Before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw Spider Minion. We're going to draw Spider Minion step by step give you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. That isn't going to help us in this drawing, because minions' heads are their bodies. So it really comes down to getting their body oval shape the right size. One thing you will notice is that I use guidelines to help me to know where to map some of the stuff out we're drawing. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing, so you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. We're going to start with our roadmap of our spider minion. In the first step, I'm not worried about the details, I'm focused on getting his proportions, his pose, and his posture mapped out as light as possible. So let's start with that roadmap for Spider Minion. Okay, so there's a roadmap for our minion as Spider-Man. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. In this step, Spider-Minion starts to look like, well, like Spider-Minion. I want to remind you that we're still drawing as light as possible in this step, okay? So let's rough out the features for Spider-Minion.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for our minion Spider-Man. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of our Spider-Man minion. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work to figure that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. So let's draw in the details for Spider-Minion. Alrighty, there he is, our spider minion. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Spider Minion, or any Minion for that matter, you can't expect to have drawn them perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring Spider Minion during this video because I want my lessons to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing our Spider Minion. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on that link below for my free four-part drawing series where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your version of Spider Minion. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.